here we have some word problems that are a little bit unusual in that they use rational expressions in their setup. So these are probably word problems you haven't maybe seen before and they do take a little bit of getting used to. So let's take a careful look at these. And uh, one type is this work problem type where you have a, a person who does the work in a certain amount of time, another person who does the work in a different amount of time, and you want to figure out how long it takes them to get to the job done if they're working together. So in this one, Sandra can paint a kitchen in six hours, Roger can paint the same kitchen in seven hours. How long does it take when they work together? Well, the way to do this, the trick, is to put this number we have here in terms of a rate per hour. So well, how much of this job can they get done per hour? Well, in the case of Sandra, she can get one-sixth of the job done per hour. So that's her rate. Roger can get only one-seventh of the job done per hour because it takes him seven hours to do the whole thing. Now, if we were to add these two together, that would be their rate per hour of getting the job done working together. So let's do that. Um, we have to make the denominators the same, so I'm going to multiply this by 7 over 7 and this by 6 over 6. And let's see, that becomes 1340 seconds. Now, let's let t equal the time it takes to get the whole job done with Sandra and Roger working together. If I wanted to know, you know, what the rate of getting it done, it would be 1 over t. So in the same way that it takes six hours for one person to get it done, so their rate per hour is one-sixth of the job, one T of the job, one over T of the job, is the rate of them working together. So I can simply set this equal to that. So one over T equals 13 over 42. And I've just said that T is the total time it takes to get the whole job done with Sandra and Roger working together. So all I have to do is solve for T now. And I can take the reciprocal of both sides here, and I simply get t equals 42 over 13. And let's see, what is that? 3 and 3 thirteenths hours. So that's how to do that work problem. This next one is pretty similar. It's another type of work problem, but it's a little bit harder. This one, it says, together, Naomi and Ken Yu can write a particular type of computer program in 17 hours. So what we're getting is the total time it takes them to, to do it when they work together. And then, alone, Naomi can do the job three hours faster than Ken Yu. And we want to find the time that each of them takes. So we're really looking for that and that, the, the hours that it takes them to do the job. So we're kind of looking for this and this. And we have this, basically. We, it takes them 17 hours working together. So the hourly rate of them working together is 1 17th of the job. Now, I want to have Naomi's rate and Kenyu's rate here. Let's call Kenyu's rate 1 over k. And that means that k will be the total amount of time it takes her to get the job done, which is one of the things we're looking for, so that's good. It says Naomi can do the job three hours faster than Kenyu, so it takes her three hours less. So the amount of time that Naomi takes to do, to do the job would be k minus three. So her hourly rate is one over k minus three. So now we have Kenyu's rate plus Naomi's rate equals the hourly rate uh, to get the whole job done when they're working together. We have all we need now to solve for k. It's a little bit complicated because we've got some rational expressions here. I think what I'd probably do first is multiply to make these denominators the same and then do the addition. So I'm going to multiply this fraction by k minus 3 over k minus 3. I'm going to multiply this fraction by k over k. And what I get on the top then is k minus 3 over k times k minus 3 plus k over k times k minus 3 equals 1 17th. Oops, let's uh, make sure that's on the camera. And then I can simply, because my denominators are the same here, I can add this. So I get 2k minus 3 over k times k minus 3 equals 1 17th. Now from here, I guess I'd probably go ahead and cross multiply. 
and I would get so that's 17 times 2, so that's 34k. 17 times negative 3 minus 51 equals, here we'll go ahead and do the multiplication through k times k is k squared, and k times minus 3 is negative 3k. And it looks like we're going to have a quadratic here because we've got a k squared term. So let's get everything on one side, set it equal to 0. If we do that, I think we get, let's see, negative 37k and a plus 51. Now, in a quadratic, you're going to have two answers. And in this case, this is not easily factorable. And you can spend your time plugging it through the quadratic equation. Uh, but what I did is just I went to a website with a, a quadratic calculator to get a quick answer. And what I found out, of course, there are two answers. One of them is 35.566, and the other is 1.434. Now, at this point, you have to use your common sense to say which one of these looks right. And if you go back to the problem, you'll notice that when they work together, it takes them 17 hours to finish the job. K represents how long it just takes one of them, can you, to finish the job. So it's probably not going to be an hour uh, uh, you know, and a little less than a half. It's probably going to be 35 hours. So that's the correct answer for can you. Naomi, of course, is just three hours faster. So, we'd, so that's, this is k, and Naomi would be k minus 3, or 32.566. That's how long it takes each of them to do the job alone. All right, let's look at one more. That's enough of the work problems. This one is um, a number problem. It says the sum of the reciprocal of a number and the reciprocal of 8 less than the number is 6 times the reciprocal of the original number, and find that number. This sounds complicated, but well, let's take it a step at a time. Let's call the original number x. The reciprocal of that number is 1 over x. And 8 less than the number is just x minus 8. So when they say the sum of a reciprocal of a number and the reciprocal of 8 less than the number, that's what we get, 1 over x plus 1 over x minus 8. Then we have is, which is almost always the equal sign in these things, 6 times the reciprocal of the original number. Well, the original number is x, so 6 times a reciprocal is 6 times 1 over x, or 6 over x. So that's how to set up the equation. Now to solve this, I think I'd probably try to get the denominators all the same. So I'm going to multiply this one by x minus 8 over x minus 8, and this one by x over x, and this one by x minus 8 over x minus 8. So all my denominators become x times x minus 8. Now at this point, since this is an equation, I could decide to multiply both sides of this equation by that denominator, and would, it would have the effect of just making that denominator disappear, and then all I have to do is deal with what's on the top. So I think I'm going to do that. So what's on the top here? We have x minus 8 times 1, so that's just x minus 8, plus 1 times x, so that's x, equals 6 times x minus 8, so that's 6x minus 48. Combine our like terms here, we have 2x minus 8, equals 6x minus 48. I would subtract 2x from both sides. I get negative 8 equals 4x minus 48. And then I think I will add 48 to both sides. And I get 40 equals 4x, or x equals 10. So that's a little bit of work with word problems that require rational expressions.